Hilton. Mm. Cheers to autumn nights. It's raining outside heavily. And the central heating is on. We are so snug as a bug in a rug in our home. <laughs> I've got amaretto on ice. Yes. And I've got some lovely bits to share with you. I'm going to do a get ready with me, a little chatty one. I'll just lower the stool a bit. But <laughs> yes, I hope you're all doing well. I love it when it gets a little bit colder, but you're at home. It's a lot worse when you're commuting, going to and fro from school or work, and you just wanna get indoors. I cook the most loveliest meatballs and spaghetti. I always ask my daughter, what do you want for dinner? What do you want for dinner? Do you want a fish yeah. supper? Do you want, you know, pasta? Or what? And she was like, I don't know. So I gave her a list and she said, mummy, I want meatballs and spaghetti and I really make it wholesome the way that my mother taught me with lots of flavour and lots of love and my tummy is round and full so I had a lovely shower and I'm gonna do a get ready with me I haven't got anywhere to go but I thought I've got some goodies that arrived today that I want to try on and I want to do a look as well why not I owe it to you all I've been away for so long <laughs> So, these are the wipes that I use. These are amazing. They get everything off. Everything off. And they also help if you've got whiteheads, blackheads, it helps with removing those as well. And I had the worst outbreak. Like, I had a hormonal outbreak, a massive zit there, and a massive zit there. And let me show you. Listen, if you have acne, these two products are life-changing, okay? Please, you can get this on prescription. They do sell this in the States or Canada, but it's called something else. In England, it's called Acnicide, but it has another name in the States. Sorry, I just tried. This is fantastic, okay? It's benzoyl peroxide face wash and spot cream and if you have a zit so important if you've got a wedding day coming up or an interview or a date emergency spot zapper it just takes away all unnecessary bacteria it dries that zit out and it gets rid of the marks as well gets rid of acne scarring I swear by it honestly I have had acne since I was 14 and those two products amazing I buy them via boots so i get points and if if you buy it you have to answer a pharmacy um questionnaire to make sure that you're buying the right product so um they just check to see if you're not of a certain age or if you're not pregnant breastfeeding and things like that but oh, that is for hormonal outbreaks any kind of acne especially like your cystic ones or the ones that are hard under the skin with dry surf skin surface trust me it is amazing yeah so um i've got some products that arrived today lippies put my headlock on <laughs> look at me i'm sandra d Bursting with virginity. <laughs> yeah, so I've got some lippies. I've got some random stuff. I've got some lipsticks and some concealers that I bought some time ago, but I've never used. So I just want to wear them, try them on with you. But I've got two orders that came today. From... My skin feels a bit dry. Sorry, that squeaky squeaky is my store. Do you know what? Just come back to come back to filming after all this time. This store has never made a sound, and Sod's Law it decides that it wants to make a sound now. This is um 
Evian Face Mist. Let's see. Facial spray. I use this. It's really good if you um, if you're traveling, if you're on the plane, or you know, especially in colder weather, and you just want your face to be a bit more moisturized. It is fantastic. And I buy that online with boots, I think, or super drugs. So ASOS. All this big packaging for such a small item. It's a NARS lipstick. And it's one of my favourite NARS lipsticks. It's called Shiap, I think. And the last time I had it, I I forgot that I had it in my jeans pocket. And I was in the laundrette. Dry and um, washing my clothes. And I put my put the clothes into the tumble dryer. And when I opened it, there's this massive pink stain all over the dryer. And I was like, what the heck is that? And it was my she app. I forgot that my she app was in the um, the pocket. And there's a 25% off on ASOS. So I treated myself, basically. Ooh. And this is a really strong magenta colour. When I put my foundation on and stuff, I'm going to... Um, show put, try these on because I look a little bit pasty but last packaging is the bomb it's so so nice look at this oh it feels nice I think they've changed it they've changed the packaging yeah it's the right it's matte it's a matte lipstick mattes are my favorite she app I love that pop I love that pop there we go they've changed it I don't think it had NARS on it before. That's very Chanel, very Dior NARS. We love it, we love it, right? No scent. Very clinical. Yeah. I'll put that there. And the other... Let me open the other lipsticks I've got. Listen, don't underestimate John Lewis sales. This is Rouge Le Velvet Luminous Matte Lip Color Number Five. Number Five, Chanel Number Five. The packaging is absolutely gorgeous. How beautiful is that? How beautiful. And what I like about these lipsticks is that you you squeeze and they pop up. I love the shape of this. Look at that. It's gorgeous. And this is, I don't know if that's the, the number of the actual, gosh, I'm so sorry. Let me see if I tap the screen if it will. Yeah, I'm not sure if that is the number of the lipstick style, colour. I don't know. There's no other name to it. But um, yeah, John Lewis sale. Look out for Chanel lipsticks at John Lewis because I think it was like 15 quid, which is bloody expensive, I know, but compared to the original price. And then this is another Chanel lipstick from the same sale. And this is Epitome. And this is number 114, Le Rouge Matte Intense. And I love a dry matte lipstick. And again, it's that pop. Pop up. Look at that. That's a nice blue red. Really pretty. And I love how they, you know, they emboss their branding on the lipstick. Really nice. Look at that. It's class. That's what you call classy. So sorry about the noise, it really isn't my tummy. Okay, now what else did I get? Put all the garbage together. I mean, this is okay, but do you know what? I've got a big bottle of Baileys in my bedside drawer. You've got to. When you live in London, right? 
and there's cold nights, you can't, especially if you've got a day off, you can't be getting up out of your bed to go downstairs or anything. So I put my flask of hot water and I've got my chocomocha sachets and I've got my disposable mugs and I've got my Baileys. A little tipple to keep you toasty in your bed whilst it is freezing cold outside. I've just put the drink down, but I've seen my lovely Nux, which I've shared with you in another video. Nux Dry Oil Floral. This is so gorgeous. Put it all over. Do you know what today I've put on um, some self tan because I notice I'm starting to look really pale and it's not a rich colour you know I just went semi semi dark for me but I do feel nice that my, my legs are nicely even toned so I've never got any self tan on my hands <laughs> I'll try to get it off. Right, another ASOS either. Wipe off that oil. It's cloves. But actually, before I show you the cloves, I'm going to show you these little tiny things, which has got nothing to do with beauty, really. Look what I found in the supermarket today. This is gingerbread syrup for coffee and you know what it smells so spicy oh, it's really lovely and i wanted to show you the milk that i've been recommending because i don't drink cow's milk anymore only in like ice cream and dairy like products like desserts and stuff i'm not like completely strict about eating dairy but in terms of like cereals and hot drinks no this is what I use this bad boy and it has to be this one it has to be the barista the barista edition with the cup the other one has like a tall glass you don't need that one this is the one this is amazing you will have the best coffee with this trust me and cereal I don't really eat a lot of cereal but if I do that is just fantastic so I'll share that with you in another video and Lenore, I told my daughter, I'll just choose one. She did a bit of shopping after school for me, for the house. I shouldn't say for me. She did a bit of shopping, a bit of, you know, she's grown up, so she's got to do these things. And she chose Fresh Meadows. I haven't smelt this one yet. Oh, that's really good. Fresh Meadow. Why am I going like that? Why am I salivating? It doesn't smell like food. <laughs> Fresh Meadow is lovely. I always wash my bed sheets every either Saturday evening or Sunday morning so I've got a nice fresh start to the week and I love 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 my bedding to smell really clean and fluffy and fresh and fresh like a meadow <laughs> so I just wanted to share those little bits to inspire you when you go shopping right ASOS clothes I needed a jumper for work and I just wanted a nice autumnal jumper that was like quite light to kind of match my room. So it's a grey one. Grey and a black. Yeah. V-neck suit me because of my bosom. But I wanted something like like mohair. Like a mohair kind of texture jumper. It feels really soft. It's one thing I can say about ASOS. Their jumpers, their clothes are good quality. But their jumpers, wherever they get them from... Because this is their own brand. It's actually really good. And it feels really warm. But it's it's not thin. But it's just the right type of thickness. So you don't have like sweat. And that feels really nice. Okay. This is the one I wanted to try and with you. So I'm just going to try this on. And it's meant to go off the shoulder, so I'm meant to have a... Mm. Mm. Let's see if it's too big. 
so that's really nice. Might be a bit too big, you know. This is a 12. Do you want me to get a 10? That's lovely. Do you see what I mean? That's really nice. That's really pretty and it's got nice um like baggy balloon sleeves and I love my sleeves to look baggy and this was in the tool section when you go into ASOS online right okay yeah, that's really pretty okay so I'm going to what else I need to show you oh I bought these from Amazon um Amore it's just like loads of but I don't use sponges you know but I'm gonna give it a try they were cheap and cheerful and I thought sometimes some products that I use they don't seem to be like picking up so I'm gonna give it a try anyway the look I'm gonna go for is quite simple it's kind of like a kitteny kitten eye look yeah coming up to fireworks night and you know glittery eyes Christmas glittery eyes these are the other two products that I got, NARS um, concealers. This is medium 1.5, I don't know what that means, macadamia, macadamia. And I buy my NARS stuff from ASOS, by the way. Um, ASOS sell a lot of Estee Lauder brands. They sell NARS, they sell loads of products. They even sell like fragrances and stuff, you know? So have a look. ASOS is a good company, especially if you get next day delivery. It's fantastic. So that's Macadamia. And this is Biscuit. I like that name. Biscuit. That's my daughter's hamster's name. Biscuit. I don't know what would be my colour, actually. I bronzed the whole of this area, but I didn't bronze my face because I don't need to. I can just use foundation. Can you see the difference? So this is warmer. This might be a bit too pale. Or well, I can mix the two. Okay. Oh, shush, chair. Be quiet. Right, let's get this look going. Where am I going to put you concealer? I don't know. Yeah. I think it's going to be biscuit that I'll try today. You guys in the States or Canada and so on, you're so lucky you can return your beauty products. We can't in England. If you open it, it's, that's it. You can't return nail varnishes or jewellery or perfume. Once it's opened, unless someone can tell me different, you can't. You can maybe exchange it, but you can't get a refund of your money. Oh, I'm getting to that arometta at the bottom of the the glass yummy yeah so this is so cute guys look at this i got this on a sale this is stilla this is the brand stilla and these are this is called eye for elegance and this is shimmer and glow and glitter and glow and i've played around with a couple of them but not fully so i've got this look i want to create so bear with me <laughs> I'm going to so I've cleansed my face I'm going to just apply a foundation and I'm going to mix two colors I'm going to use the NARS natural radiant longwear foundation this is in Cadiz and I have the darker one which is Caracas I think it's called and I'm going to mix the two I'm going to put on the Cadiz first because that's my lighter tone. This is all I use, just this little amount. It goes, it spreads so well, guys. Honestly, it's such an amazing foundation.
by the way i hope you enjoying the music my daughter's father is a musician he's so talented and he created the beat so um the music that i'm going to show on my channel will be his music in the future so cool isn't it <laughs> look at that see how it spreads so well my skin has improved dramatically uh, you know what for my 40th i was like there's no way i'm having pimples on my 40th there's no way i'm having this crappy skin with all these blemishes no i had to do something about it and i'm going to tell you more on my skin care first series about how i overcame acne in my 39th year of life so this is Caracas, and look, honestly, just a splodge. This can take me forever to finish. Forever. The reason why I bought two is because um, I knew that I was gonna be, I discovered it at the Duty Free, um, because I love the idea that it said it was sweat resistant. That's sweat resistant, brilliant. Because I was going to, uh, New Orleans, um, New Orleans, <laughs> and I know it, the weather is really, really hot out there. And I thought, if just in case I fancied wearing foundation, I don't want to be like sweating through. So um, when I was there, I bought the darker one because I knew I would tan. But I bought the lighter one <clears throat> on my return because I live in in England. I live in England and. I'm a realist, you know, I'm not going to have this tan all year round. But then again, I bought the Saint Tropez. So, I mean, I just don't know. The Saint Tropez is amazing, guys, honestly. If you are missing a golden tan, get it. Just experiment with it. Yeah, look at that. It goes on so well. The quality, the colour. Right, I would normally use. The Touche Clat. Touche Clat? Am I pronouncing it right? Touche Clat. Sounds so South London. I would normally use a Touche Clat under my eyes because it's fantastic, right? Um, but I'm going to try what they I want to see what their concealer looks like. Let's give it a go. So this is the biscuit. I'm going to use it the same way that I use the Touche Clat. I really like the packaging. Isn't it so sweet? It just looks so high quality. I think NARS is such a respected brand. Do you know what I saw the other day? Pat McGrath lipsticks. Um, she's selling like trios in super um, super drugs in Selfridges for thirty five pounds. It's exclusive. Pat McGrath. She's a British makeup artist, right? She's famous to all the iconic um, supermodels and celebrities. But she launched her her um, beauty line in the States and it's just now after four years come to the UK and she's decided to launch it in Selfridges it's exclusive only to Selfridges so I'm gonna have a go and um, have a look at her her range but she's got these three lipsticks they're, they're called minis mini something but um I'll probably put a picture somewhere right um, but they're 35 pounds and normally it's 35 pounds for one lipstick but she's got three little minis for the same price as one original size lipstick. I'm gonna give that a go. Do you know what this looks like? This looks so nice. Oh my goodness. My advice is invest in good quality beauty products and invest in good quality skincare. Don't play no games. By the way, my ears don't stick out, you know. It's just the hair pushing <laughs> pushing it out. My ears go flat. It annoys me sometimes when I look back in videos. I'm why are my ears sticking out? Like Dumbo. Even though Dumbo's cute. I don't want to look like Dumbo, okay? Sorry, Dumbo. But, um, yeah, invest in good quality products. This jumper is nice. I feel like to buy another one. You know, when you love something, you should always buy another, you know, just in case. Right, 
time is of the essence because it takes ages to upload my video so I'm gonna try and do this quite quickly I'll do some eyebrows I was explaining in another video that I like the classic look of brows and I just like them to look quite thin and natural but I'm gonna kind of put a 1950s um, style to my brow. Do they need plucking? Oh God, they need plucking, I apologize. Yeah, just a little 1950s kind of arch. 2019 version of the 1950s style. Does that make sense? No. 2019 remix of a 1950s brow. Hmm. It's quite nice. Uh oh. Mistake. Don't be frightened of mistakes, guys, when you're doing your makeup. It's fun to correct them, actually. So, okay, so it's not, it's not 1950s anything, <laughs> but, um, they look nice. Right. Is that even? Oh gosh, it's quite faint. Just looking in my other mirror just to adjust it. They are not even at all. Oh well. Okay, and then, um, before I get those glitter eye thing bobbies and the lipsticks, I've always wanted to try this. I don't know why I haven't. Stop making noise, Chair. You're annoying me. I actually bought a new stool but it was so expensive and the colour was um, grey but it was a darker grey than what they advertised so I sent it back. Yeah, I've definitely, I must have definitely opened this at some point because there's like makeup dust from it. How fun is this? Right, let me see if it is going to be an instant hit. What colour should I go for on my cheeks? Uh, uh, uh. Whistle. Let me see if I can show you. Look, these look so flipping cool. Oh, that bird looks good. Let's have a look at bird. Ooh, good colors coming on, nice and subtle and instant. Right, I'm gonna try on the other side. Whistle. Whistle's calling me. Let's see. Oh, that's quite pink, isn't it? Let me just brush the bird over. Let me brush the bird over the whistle. That's really nice. Um, let's go for something spicy. This one's called spicy. Ooh. Because I got this Natasha Denona and it's not that great, guys. It's too much work for something so expensive. Oh, Appley cheek, look at the sheen on that. Wow. I think I need a bit more depth though. I mean, it's really shiny. I think it's too shiny. Too, too shiny. Shady. Let's go for shady. Even though shady is going to be shiny, let's have a little bit more colour. Ooh. Is it flaking on? No. Is it flaking? No, it doesn't come off. That is really nice. Let's put some under the brow. Let's put some in the middle there. Yeah, on forehead. Ooh. Oh, that highlighter is rocking. Now, if your highlighter is too highlighted, <laughs> then you can use a foundation. I use Studio Fix, but Studio Fix is a foundation, so it's got colour. But fresh. Fresh. Ooh. So you've got to be careful because it's got colour, but I can just kind of like mute it a little bit and just put a little bit of natural tone I 
think I put the highlight in the wrong area now. I think I just want it up here. You know, I don't want to draw too much attention to my my cheeks. So do you see what I mean? Just mute it down a little bit. Gosh, that is lovely. The light is a bit bright. How are we doing? How are we doing? How are we doing? Sorry, I'm, I'm not used to using a light. And it's brilliant, but I just need to get used to it. Okay. Yeah, I'm liking it. Right, now, what next? Lippies? Let's try the lippies or the eyes. Do you do the eyes or the lippy? Let's do the eyes. So we've got loads of... So, oh, so the colours are the same on each side. Kitten, Grace and Twig. But one is Shimmer and Glow and one is Glitter and Glow. Let me show you the ones. Well, let me swatch them all. They're the same colours. Can't be the same colours. They're not the same colours. Grace... Oh, this is nice and thick. This is Grace. I like that. Oh, Grace. So it's not coming up clear, is it? Tap the screen. Grace, peachy sheen. It's gold. Kitten, I've heard a lot about Kitten. This is like a, oh, it's nice. It's like a honey. Oh, this is lovely, this one. Smoldering Satin. Smoldering Satin. That one. Which one? Yeah, that one. Smoldering Satin, that one. They look quite strong compressed, but they're not actually, they're quite light. This one is quite deep. This one's called Twig. Twig. Ooh, that's a proper red. <sighs> it's a nice autumnal red as well. That's twig. They're so pretty to look at. That's twig. Look at that. Look at that red. So, ooh, look. Oh, so nice to have fun with products again. And this is next to next to Notte. Next to Notte. Sorry, it's not coming up clear, is it? Which is um I don't know. It's similar to twig, but it's lighter. It's much lighter. Look, softer. It's like a ready pink. Those are the colours. And the one that I liked, what was it? I don't know. What should I go for? Kitten? Peachy Sheen? Grace? I'm going to go for, should I go for Kitten or Grace? Grace? I'll go for Grace. Because it's nice and thick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply it onto the lash line. Right into the inner corner. No, I might use two. Let me use this mirror just to do it properly. So this is Grace. It's actually really, really like subtle. Like too subtle maybe. That's yeah, too subtle. And 
not going to go for kitten. I want a little bit of glitter. Let me see if I do it here. Oh yeah, that's popping a bit more, isn't it? Okay, so the shimmer. The shimmer. No, the glitter and glow is more popping. The shimmer and gold, gold. The shimmer and glow is more subtle. The glitter and glow is going to like be a bit more eye catching. Hmm. A lot of people are frightened to use shimmers as they get older, but you shouldn't. If you like it, you like it, dear. Just use it in moderation. You don't have to have it plastered all over your face or your your, old, your whole lid. I'm just going to dab it on. Let's see. It's very, very subtle, my goodness. Very subtle. This is my peachy sheen. This is a glitter one as well. I know, I feel like I need to have it all over the lid. Some nice, these are nice kind of muted colours to go with the grey. It's very refreshing, I must say, when it's on the lid, it feels really nice. It doesn't feel irritating, doesn't, it's not sticky or anything like that. You know? And that kind of gives the eyelid a glaze, a gloss effect, which is quite pretty. That nice dewy look. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if the light is too bright. Let me. That could be an issue as well. well that's better, isn't it? It's very subtle, isn't it? I mean, it's like... Is it too subtle? I like it. I think I actually like how subtle it is. And I've got a new mascara by NARS. And this is called Climax. Such a subtle look. You can really go a little bit more... Um, you can add a lot more mascara and eyeliner. This look definitely needs eyeliner. Don't know if you can hear me. Sorry, I can see some scattered pigment across the crease line, so that's what makes it look a bit messy. Um, I'll neaten it up though. Good mascara. The, this is the mini size mascara really good one but it's actually quite good I wouldn't mind buying the larger version actually if you have any mascaras that you can recommend please do I'm always looking for a fantastic mascara I have a Ghislaine one but it dried out I think I've still got some product left in it. The brush of the Ghislaine one is really good. Yeah, it's one of those extraordinary brushes. This is Ghislaine. Um, but it's kind of dry. I'm just going to use it for the brush to help separate the lashes. My goodness, I have made such a mess. These are brilliant, by the way. Yeah, I think I got them off eBay. Just Google, like, black cotton swabs. And then they're different on either side. So the pointy is quite useful. See, I can just kind of, like, create a kind of smouldering under the eye. You have to blend it before the mascara dries. God, it's really subtle. Where's that kitten gone? Let me put the kitten on my head. Let me see. I can't do it like this, guys. Sorry, I just it's just the phone is too awkward. I'm going to have to do it in this mirror. I'm just tapping it 
on top of the original line that I made. Oh, it's really subtle and pretty. It's like a, just like a liquid eyeliner, basically. See what I mean? It's really subtle. And then, um, let's go for some eyeliner. I think I'd wear these um, with eyeshadows. Let's go for a little kitten. A kitten kick. <laughs> This is a nice look for a fireworks night evening. I don't know if I like that side. Kitten, kitten eyes. Not sure I like the way that eyeliner is. Oh, I'm so fussy. This, what is this one I'm putting up now? Peachy Sheen. I'm getting carried away. Just put it above a little bit. That's better. I think it's too quiet for me. Just one little thin eyeliner. But it might not be for someone else, you know? That's better. Yeah. Now we're talking. Isn't it? you got to take your time. When you're in, using new products, just take your time and have fun. Explore. If you don't like it, you can always take it off. You can always add more. That's better. Right, lips. Gosh, such a sim these simple little things cause so much problem. Ah. These are fun. I don't think I'm going to put them back in the packaging. I'll just put them up on my carousel. Really fun colours and they feel really nice on the eye. And that one as well. Nice. Let's try these lippies now. So, yeah, I like the eyes. Like, glossy. Um, let's try the... Well, let me show you the She app. how strong that is that looks so good on its own or with a liner it's matte but it's got a lovely silk finish so that's she app by Nars it's nice I like this because you don't actually have to wear a liner with it you can go really subtle or you can go really bold with a liner or put gloss on top. It feels nice. I'm surprised that's a matte. It feels really moisturizing. Okay, another color. Let's go for. Do you know what? I've got so many lipsticks I haven't tried yet. I'm going to do another video showing you those. So this is the Chanel, what one is this one again? This is Chanel Rouge à la Vova Extreme 114 Epitome. Let's try Epitome. They should have put the brand name at the back, but they didn't. Oh, rich.
this feels amazing. Oh my god, you don't even need a you don't even need a liner. I love it. Oh wow. So this is epitome. Special. I don't even want to take it off. I feel bad that I've got to take this off. What a waste. And it feels dry. Instant. Dry but silky. Honestly. That is good. And let's go for that blue red. And then this one is number five. Chanel number five. Mm. This is meant to be matte. This is definitely not matte. It's gorgeous though, it feels so good. It's like a nice velvet. Velvet texture. Mm. With a nice shine. It's kind of orangey actually, isn't it? it looks good with the grey. That feels really lovely. Feels really, mmm. Epitome. That was lovely. Epitome is really lovely. Ooh. Look how, look how easy it goes on. Listen, this is amazing quality. Let me sort out my hair. I'm a massive lipstick fan, and I definitely believe that you should, um, if you love lipsticks, you know. I mean, I have the cheap and cheerful, um, but I also have the design quality. I have a lot of MAC lipsticks because, you know, MAC do back to MAC, which is when you return six empty products you get a free lipstick so I always have MAC lipsticks because um I'm a massive MAC MAC girl <laughs> and I used to work for them you know I still do sometimes look so this is the kitten with whatever else I tried I don't remember now with um listen I'm gonna be looking out for this epitome in sale season Seriously, don't need to use liner. That is just gorgeous. That's perfectly complementary to the grey. It's really nice. I need a bit of jewellery. I bought these um, in the summer from ASOS. Love this jumper, guys. This jumper is sexy. This is all about sexy jumpers. Trust me. I wish I could knit jumpers. I need to learn. Yeah, I bought this. Um, I bought these from ASOS in the summer, and I think it might look cute. Let's have a look. 
I was looking for this necklace that I bought, but I can't seem to find where I put it. These are so fun. Look at these. How cute are these? How cute are these? I'm not, I refuse to look dull in winter. I normally do, but I refuse this time. Because I think it also adds to, um, you know, the feeling of being blue. And because I'm 40 now, I think it's really important to enjoy the remains of my youth. <laughs> you know? Before it's too late. Just enjoy every drop, mate. Every drop. Oh, that is cute, ma'am. Yes. What do you think, guys? Do you wear it like that? Push up my bra a bit more. Push up my bra a bit more. Off shoulder. You know? It's cute. See how simple you can create a look? I think my, my brows just need a little bit more adjusting. More depth. See, one side was darker than the other. I'm hoping that you're liking these chatty videos. Um, they're requested, so I know people need them for company or, you know, when you're getting yourself ready. You know, it's nice to have a friend, a friend to chat with and to just get ready with. You know, I buy um, perfumes from All Beauty sometimes. And when you buy from All Beauty, look in their office section, because they won't just automatically give you these, right? But in their office section, if you spend over a certain amount, then you get these for free. I've got about three of these um, straighteners, and they are bloody brilliant. They're mini, um, mini tourmaline ion straighteners, and they are really good. And they're so dinky and small, but they just do the job, you know? I don't know what temperature they're going to go up to, but they're probably about as the same um, heat range as GHDs. You know, and they heat up really quickly. Do you remember when straighteners came out? Like everybody was rushing to get them and it, they cost a fortune, but not anymore. They're giving them away for free now, love. But yeah, if you're buying from All Beauty or a lot of these online companies, you need to look in their offers sections online because I notice that they don't automatically send them to you you have to add them into your basket which is a bit cheeky really so I'm loving it right what so what's the look then what's the look should we go for Betty Boop finish Jean-Paul Gaultier it's lovely I do not like the original um, Jean-Paul Gaultier EDP? No. I like this one. This is the Eau Fresh. It's so lovely. So that one. Oh. Oh, I love this one. I love this one. Oh, let's have a splash of this. This is, um, let's settle this argument like adults in the bedroom naked. <laughs> Why not? This is the base. This is the fragrance. It is, it smells like, um, oh my God, it just smells like sexy bedroom sheets in a very expensive hotel. And, oh, 
I bought a new pink sugar. If there's one fragrance I get through like crazy, is pink sugar. I get through this, like, I think I bought this about five times. Um, I love it, love this stuff. And what I like about it is when you buy it new, it doesn't have that piss yellow colour. It's um, a lovely fragrance to wear in the winter. Yeah. Aqua, it's by Aquilina. And what I like, see what I mean? It's clear. Let's go for a bit of pink sugar. Oh, I've missed that smell. Mm. It's really sweet. It's lovely though. Oh, this reminds me of the autumn. Because I bought it in the autumn. And I think it has like notes of ivy or something, I'm not sure. Mark Jacobs, um, oh so decadent. This is lovely. I love the tone. Look at the tone of the grey. Oh, it smells. I love this one. If you don't like the original decadence, you actually might like this one. There's another one in between. I didn't like the other one after decadence. That was horrible. This is stunning. Oh so decadent. Don't get the um, Mark Jacobs. Mark, Mark. Why do I say Mark Jacobs? Mark Jacobs decadence eau de toilette. Don't blind buy it, okay? And this is really lovely. I, I'm feeling myself, you know. You see how I'm talking? I'm just like, hi. Get this and get that. So you don't have to have all these contours and things like that, people. Listen, I'm in my 40s. I know what I'm talking about. I've been at MUA for God knows how many years, right? I've been at MUA since I was 19. You don't have to go dramatic. You don't try to keep up with the young people doing all the contours and the this and the that. What you need is a nice colour for your face. Then you need to just, like, conceal your lumps and bumps. <laughs> just conceal any redness and things like that. Good primer is recommended. I didn't use one because I'm just doing an evening look, okay? I don't want to waste my Laura Mercier primer. And um, just some hot lips. Just do your eyes how you want to do them. So if you want to do them subtle, do them subtle. And um, just nicely groomed brows and nails and, you know, a very good mascara. I haven't found the world's best mascara yet. I'm still looking. If anyone knows a really good mascara, please let me know. I'll, I'm up for it. Yeah, so this is um this in Yaki. This in Yaki. And this is Le Deissi Pure Nectar de Parfum. This is one of my favourite fragrances. I think I finished the other one because I can't find it. And the hand the hand lotion that comes with it. I I have. I, I can smell it through the box. The hand lotion is bomb. This is. Oh, God, it's gorgeous. Mmm, so nice. You hear that growl? Mmm. <laughs> Anytime you hear me growl, when it comes to perfume, buy it. Yeah, look at that. Sex bomb, sex bomb, you're my sex bomb. You can give it to me when I need to get some sex bomb. Sex bomb, you're my sex bomb. Baby, you can turn me on. <laughs> Naughty 40s. I'm telling you, mate, I'm not. Naughty 40s. I'm coming for you. Stop the noise. That's annoying. It's in Miyake. Lotion to match. Oh okay. Until next time, guys.
only young once. 